Good morning students. Today we will start with the first chapter of biology that is life processes. Life processes is a big chapter which includes many life activities performed by the living organisms and which are important for their survival basically. So without life processes uh, we cannot survive and these life processes distinguish us from the non-living organism. Living organism they perform all these life processes that is why we are living. Now next topic is examples of life processes. There are many examples of life processes like nutrition, respiration, excretion, transportation, growth, metabolism etc. So in this chapter we will deal with the all life processes in three subtopics basically. Like in case of nutrition we will study nutrition in plants, nutrition in animals and nutrition in unicellular organism like amoeba. So, Every life process we will read in three subtopics. Okay. You are well aware of about nutrition, respiration, excretion, transportation, growth, and we will uh, deal with all of them one by one. And metabolism means some total of all the chemical reactions which occur in living being. Our body is just like a mini laboratory in which many chemical reactions take place. Some chemical reactions are constructive in nature, some are destructive in nature. If we see anabolism, anabolism is example of constructive metabolism and catabolism is the example of destructive metabolism. For example, in case of photosynthesis, if you see carbon dioxide, water, they combine together to form food and oxygen. It means something is being made. So, the reaction in which something is being made which is constructive in nature is called anabolic reactions and catabolic they are destructive in nature. In case of respiration you know respiration is breaking down of the food and release of energy. So, food is being broken down and then energy is released. Okay. So, in our uh, body if you see in all a living organisms body there is metabolism what is metabolism some total of all chemical reactions what are anabolic reactions which are constructive in nature what are catabolic reaction which are destructive in nature now we will start with the very first life uh, process that is nutrition nutrition is uptake and utilization of the food the process of intake that is uptake of the food and then our body utilizes get energy and utilizes it in day to day activity that is called nutrition. So just to keep it very simple we can say nutrition is equal to intake plus utilization of food. There are two types of nutrition autotropic nutrition and heterotropic nutrition. Autotropic nutrition means the nutrition in which the living organism is capable of making its own food which is found in green plants because they perform photosynthesis and some of the bacteria. Heterotropic nutrition is found in living organisms which derive, derive means which get uh, nutrition from other organisms. They cannot make their own food. They are the consumers, they are not producers. Autotrophs are producers. So examples are fungi and some bacteria. Now heterotropic nutrition heterotropic nutrition autotropic nutrition is in itself a huge uh, topic and we will read photosynthesis in autotropic nutrition let's see what's there in heterotropic nutrition we are further dividing or classifying heterotropic nutrition into saprophytic nutrition parasitic nutrition and holozoic nutrition saprotrophic nutrition means the organism feed on dead decaying organic matter it is a type of heterotropic nutrition only in which the organism take nutrients from dead decaying organic matter. Example fungus, you, you know mushroom fungus they all take their nutrition and derive their nutrition from dead decaying organic matter. In case of parasitic nutrition it is also a type of heterotropic nutrition which is uh, between two organisms one is parasite another is host. Host give everything to parasite but in return parasite do not give anything to the host. So it is a relationship between 
parasite and host example among plants cascata that is also called amarbel in hindi dodder also tapeworm roundworm plasmodium etc now next one is holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition is found in human beings animals amoeba paramecium and in holozoic nutrition uh, intake of solid pieces of food takes place and then further it the, the solid pieces of food is digested and consumed absorbed by the uh, organism's body in holozoic nutrition because it is a complex form of nutrition it involves five steps first ingestion digestion absorption assimilation ejection i d a a e that is ingestion digestion absorption assimilation ejection now uh, the what is the difference between autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic if you split the word auto means self troph means nutrition food is self made heterotrophic hetero means different troph means nutrition food is ready made and obtained from outside in case of autotrophic nutrition organism uh, showing uh, showing such nutrition are called producers and heterotrophs are called consumers chlorophyll is required where in autotrophic nutrition because here photosynthesis is taking place and in case of heterotrophs no chlorophyll that's why no photosynthesis that's why they have to be dependent on others for food and examples are shown here you can see we have already discussed thank you